today we're gonna take a look at runway and this company is going to change the game forever particularly in the social media content creation space now i've mentioned this company before on the channel a few months ago but recent news look at this according to techcrunch they have raised 141 million dollars and essentially in short summary what is runway well as of right now it can turn text into video now if you've been following the ai space you might think that's okay i've seen some of these programs and the videos they don't look that good well runway is changing that and let's go ahead and take a look at what exactly is going on so here is their current website explaining gen 2 which is their most recent model and this is the ability to generate videos with text images or video clips now craziest part is we can actually get into the dashboard and use it ourselves but before that i just want to showcase an overview so you can see exactly what we're about to get ourselves into so here they do have this explainer video. So if you'd like to see that, then definitely can check it out on their website. But in short, we can see here, aerial drone footage of a mountain range. And we can see this AI generated video of a mountain. And right now it seems to be only as of, from what I've seen for gen two is at four seconds a cap. So this video is quite short in seconds, but still, being AI generated, that's already amazing to see. Next, we have text video here, and this is a late afternoon sun peeking through the window of a New York City loft. And this video showcases an apartment. It looks like some buildings that you might see in New York City. A little quite dark, I'd say, but it's a start from there. And then we have this text plus image to video. Now, here is a image input you see on the left side of this person's face, and on the right we can see here and. The prompt is a low angle shot of a man walking down a street, illuminated by the neon signs of the bars around him. Now you can see here it does create the person's face and looks quite similar to the image and it does look somewhat three dimensional. So it's fairly realistic, not obviously perfect, but from just that image it could recreate into somewhat video realism that's already insane to see. And then we have all the additional prompt details in the background. And here's another picture on the left of a beach city. And then we can see on the right, the sky is moving. And you can see there's people on the beach that are walking. And it has a very similar design to the building structure. And another one, this is something I actually might be my favorite thing I've seen. And you can see here this guy on the left doing some sort of movements, maybe some sort of dance. And they put this image in the middle, which you can see this some sort of, I can't even describe how you say this, but essentially some flame, more like some super villain looking character. And just take a look at this right side person looks completely different. And this is stuff you see in AI generated filters and all that other fun social media posts. And here they even have a storyboard here. So they can turn mockups into fully stylized and animated renders. So look at this. We have these looks like books and this is the base of what you would essentially want your video to turn into and from here you can see it turns it into some sort of downtown drone aerial helicopter view which is pretty cool to see and then we have masking take a look we have a dog original video and on the right completely adds looks like some sort of Spots could even say it's a Dalmatian style, but it looks like it follows the dog's positioning and it can obviously use some improvement, but as of in terms of identifying the object and connecting to it, we can see it does it pretty well right there. And also turning untextured renders into realistic outputs. So for this example, I'm not familiar with the software they use for the bottom left video, but I am familiar with Blender 3D creation and other 3D software is out there. So I could see this turning into something simple in a 3D software into a fully rendered video, which if you are familiar with that space, that stuff takes forever to create, especially something like this in a 3D software. And plus you need a super strong computer to render this or else it'll take you 
weeks and your computer might not even be able to do it. And we can see here something as simple as this turning into somewhat realistic video. This is gonna change video production and potentially movies in the future forever. And then here we have a model, a person's face, and then we have this sort of character doing exactly what they're doing. So I can already see this in Zoom calls, FaceTime, anything you can think of, replicating a human's movements with some sort of avatar or creation, which we already currently see right now, but this is beginning the start of it. Now, this is just some fun examples. Now let's actually try it out ourselves. Let's see how this actually works. So here I am on the runway dashboard and essentially it is currently, this is the free plan. So it is free as of right now to sign up and we're gonna go ahead and test it out. Now they have all these options over here and they also have some examples showcasing what you could potentially do. And they do have a couple tutorials down here if you wanna see and gen one, obviously is the first, but we're gonna focus right now on Gen 2. So we can go here and let's say introducing Gen 2. Let's try it and click it here. And let's first off look at some examples. So at least from first glance, what I've noticed right away is it seems to do really well with particularly a landscape background type scene. In terms of something such as a person break dancing at least based off of these examples, I haven't seen too much, but let's go ahead and just do something. So let's say an alien city in the future with flying cars and advanced, and let's try, let's say advanced military vehicles. And let's go ahead and we can check out this, which is a setting you can change things such as upscaling, interpolate, removing the watermark. But again, this is free trial, so don't have to really worry about this. And then also you have this option here, but let's go ahead and click on preview and let's see what Runway manages to create with this prompt I have right here. So here we can see we have multiple options so this is very similar to other ai image generation softwares i've seen except this is essentially turning into video now we're looking right now at four different options and again these all probably will have a similar design but the one that looks the most different is this one these all three look quite similar in terms of the ship is different shape but this one has a little cool thing so let's do this click on generate this and now video is queued and essentially with the obviously free plan, we can see that it does take some time, but in general, it doesn't look like it's as crazy as other AI softwares that I've used, not video specific, but for just AI image generation, for example. But as of right now, it looks like it's going at a fairly steady speed. So isn't probably gonna take too long, but obviously if you upgrade, I've looked at the pricing and at least from what I've seen so far, it's nothing too overpriced or crazy in my own opinion. Some might argue with that, but again, just depends on the use case and the quality of the video. But we're about to find out once this finishes up and then we can see the final result. And the video is finally finished and that took, I think at least 30 seconds or less. So it wasn't too crazy for the free version. But now let's go ahead and play this and see what happens. And here we can see this is the current video. And to be honest, I didn't really specify what I wanted the video to do. It looks like what it did is essentially created a still image and it just zooms in on it. So, I mean, as of right now, it did find what I wanted, which is Alien City, Flying Cars, Military Vehicle. But I think my prompt needs better results. So let's go ahead and try this. Let's change it up the prompt now and let's do something else. So let's actually see if we can get a completely different prompt just to test it out. So let's say a tropical rainforest with animals, let's say running around and beautiful colorful skies and let's just hit preview and let's see what happens with this result and here this is something i was actually hoping it would do it have some sort of color gradients and now let's go ahead and pick so let's just go and this one looks like it has the most 
movements at least so let's go ahead and hit generate this and hopefully this will create something a little more video like instead of just like an image and then we'll see what happens from there all right so here is the video number two let's see if it does anything different and yes this does look significantly more like a video i do like this movement this zoom this pan you can see a little bird action and from that basic prompt right now as of their current setup you can only have four second videos with gen 2. i believe with the premium version for gen 1 the upgraded plans you can increase that and i'm sure maybe in the future they'll have this different but as of today four seconds right now with gen 2. and this is an overview of what is possible with runway and video to text